盘点被丁俊晖绝杀过的两位老头。He has got it full ball, so it should be a snooker. It's unlucky if it's not. He played that well. Let's have a little look at what we can see of this blue. He's obviously just in the way mark from our cameraman at the moment, so we can't get directly behind the shot. But I'm sure he can see the blue, but I don't know whether he can see the potting angle of the blue. I think he, if he can see the potting angle of the blue, he'll certainly take it on. He could see the potting angle. Needs a kiss. Didn't get one. A drama here. He may just have a chance to hide in behind the black with the cue ball. But he's got to make sure if he plays that he doesn't leave the pink potable. So always make sure that he keeps it safe. He's actually looking at whether it will go in the middle, but that's very ambitious, you'd think. He's playing snooker, not in the way well, I expected, I have to admit, but hasn't quite got it either. It's about half of this sticking out. Yes, if he plays cushion first, and he can, he can play the, what, the stun off the cushion and leave the white where the pink is, this is what he's looking at now. But I agree with you, Neil. I'd have either pushed the pink up the table and try to get him behind the black. If this goes right, what he's trying to do here is screw into the cushion. So when he hits the pink, the white will stop dead. Now, as long as he gets a, a foolish contact on the pink, we'll have the same scenario as before when he's snooking in behind the black. Half ball, both balls could end up in the same end half of the table. Is it half ball? Has he fluked it? Oh, you can't believe what happened there. Well, what a shame the match had to end in that way. Mark Davis took really deep and got himself right back into the match. But an unbelievable fluke from Ding Zhong Wei takes him into the next round. And Now, where's this pink going? Where's the pink going? <laughs> it's all wrong. Please hand up. Apologise to Jimmy. We've got a black ball game. Engine six. Another good safety shot. Cushion first here. Lots of right hand side. <laughs> Chose not to play the cushion first. Jimmy may well play it here. No, both players seem to be comfortable. They've got the pace of the table, playing these up and down safeties. There is always the danger, as Stephen has mentioned on a couple of occasions, of that double kiss. Well, oh, they're making this shot look easy at the moment. It's a very tricky safety shot to play. Yep. Yeah, they're just happy that they're getting the object ball safe, John, aren't they? Making sure of that. Yeah, absolutely. This one, slightly more difficult because more positive safeties. We come up nearly to the 55 minute mark. So just the containing safety from Ding. He couldn't leave a lot of distance between cue ball and object ball. Now, I keep an eye on the left middle pocket here, what we call the cot hat. He just doesn't want the, the black to catch the jaw of that pocket and come back down this end of the table. But it will. Yeah, he did, uh, no, I think he did think about making the attack to the middle, but as you say, if you play that cocked out to the middle and it catches the bump of the pocket, then you've no control. And once again, this up and down saves the judge to perfection. Things stay in there, hoping he gets it tight. Not quite. And does he send it back up the table as he's done so adequately on numerous occasions? That's the plan. 
And once again, it absolutely perfectly. Can he get it tight? If you get it tight, then it makes it a lot more difficult for your opponent to play a similar shot. And that's close enough to make it awkward. Well, this is uh, excellent from both players. It really is. We always say this game is not all about potting balls. Jimmy wants it to stop tight, and it has done. So this gives things your way now a bigger problem. I don't think he's straight up and down. He's on here. He may even choose to play, choose to play this at pace chance of a double to the right corner but stun the cue ball, leave the cue ball on the bolt cushion no, he's aiming at the top so he's playing some sort of safety well, just about just about stage short of the middle funnily enough this is not straightforward. Well, he's made it look good. He's made it look straightforward. Oh, we've got to be wearing that as a double kiss. Well, both players are showing an incredible will to win this second frame. And none of them are letting up at all. But fair play. In some excellent safety. Oh, as Jimmy it needs to slow, needs to get near the cushion. Looking at the double. Cross double to the right center. Cross double to the right center. It's not gone in. I've been fortunate. Well, that's a better plan than the one I thought. I thought he played across the ball. Twice a threat. He's played out. This is tough. As we come up to the hour. Mm, it's just stopped short as we pass the hour mark. Escape from Ding Junhui there. Jimmy put him in all kinds of trouble. You could say that about both players. They've each put each other in. Always oh, played the double, and it's close. It's close, and he's got it. What a way to finish!